Hello and welcome to another video of Machine Learning Do-It-Yourself Tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about regression trees model. Please rec recall that in the last video, we were able to create an R script to plot a decision tree. And just a quick recap, we read 40 records from customeragingcome.csv. Please note that this CSV file is available in the comment section of the current as well as the previous video. We got the data frame. We used library R part and we were able to plot this decision tree. In this video, we're going to extend it and do some prediction on top of it. Let's do that. Predict, model, and the data. Please note that, unlike the previous video, I am using the same income data frame to understand how good or the bad or bad model is. E is prediction, predicted, E dot R part, predict, M is the model and the data. It is very similar in syntax. To the linear regression model. Next, let's see the predicted. Please note that it's predicting 40 times that is the data set income DF. So this model has predicted the values. Now let's compare the original values to the predicted values and see how good or the bad or bad the model is. Let's do a summary on the same. And you can see the mean third quarter and the max for the predicted spend value from income data frame. Now let's see the original values summary. You can see how close the mean is, but there are definitely few vari variations on min and max. And obviously this is only using one predictor and one target variable. Now there is a function known as COR which is correlation. Correlation is a function which tells you how the two variables are related. For a linear regression, the value of correlation would be one. I repeat, correlation is a function which tells you how two variables are related. A linear value is one. That means they are closely related. Let's do a correlation between the predicted value and the, the actual value. You can see that the value is 0 0.88, which is closer to one. This means that these values are positively linear related. That means it's close, but not really exact. Uh, a value of one would be ideal to have, which will show that the predicted value and the, the actual value are very, very close. Time for hands-on. So we learned how to do regression linear model, regression decision tree model. And this is the hands-on which we are doing right now exercise number 11 download the data customer age.csv file from the google drive link implement regression trees model for target variable spend which is very very similar to what we did in the linear regression model and thank you for watching